watching my videos lately, um, you've been seeing that I've been doing a lot of blooms with black and white. So I have this crazy, not really crazy, I have this idea about just layering my bloom with black and white only, nothing else. And what that will do is it will kind of create like my peacock cells that I do, but in a really cool fashion, I'm gonna call it shadow blooms, okay? The problem with being so simple is that you really cannot make a mistake because um, it will definitely show when there's nothing else to detract your attention. There's no sparkle, there's no anything else. You're just gonna see the black and white cell structure. So the blow has to be like, perfect your layering has to be perfect so let's see if i can kind of go back to basics black and white and do it i know i'm not gonna think it's perfect but i'll try to do it passable okay so i just have this um 10 inch round and <clears throat> we're gonna put my pill paint down glidden essentials eggshell and uh from my last post I have mixed up uh, oxide black with um, titanium white, and that's all we're gonna use. So we're gonna use oxide black, titanium white, and my cell activator is uh, Payne's Gray. I use the Shelly Art Recipe, Boo Blaze, which is Australian Floetrol. You know I like to beat my paints. Normally people skewer it, that's great. I don't have a skewer. Um, I wouldn't suggest torching because it is, you know, um, hold on, I'm gonna put my hair in a proper bun before I continue because I know my hair is gonna go right in there. Um, oh yeah, so don't use a torch because house paints have the fumes. So not only can they be kind of toxic, um, but you also might kind of like burn a film on the top of your paint, which you kind of don't really want if you know what I mean. Blaze. Okay, let's get to doing. So my idea, I thought it'd be cool. The way I'm gonna pour it is I wanna make circles. So you kind of see, like the outside will kind of look like a ring pour. I might need to do it on a bigger, I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, so I have my outside black, okay? And I'm gonna go less and less and less with each color to have an outside ring. See this, and a lot of it's gonna already go off the canvas but we'll try right okay so that's layer one I'm gonna try to do four four layer two okay <clears throat> layer three nope see just layer two Lisa don't go ahead of yourself that's why I need I wish you guys could talk to me while I'm doing this to keep me on track. Two layers. Should I just stick with three? Maybe, because it'll be a waste of paint because the edges are gonna go off anyways, as it is. Because of course I put on too much paint as usual because no one's keeping track of what I'm doing. The last one, I'm going to just drizzle. Maybe I should have drizzled all of the white because it's opaque. <clears throat> we'll see. So remember, I have to blow perfectly down into each of the three bubles layers to get them all coming out. It's my Payne's Gray cell activator. Okay, now this is super stressful. All right, let's see what, what I can do here. Okay. So I, did, <clears throat> I didn't see the rings that I wanted, but that's okay. I do see here is a problem because I see the black and the cell activator. So this isn't cell activator, this is just black. If I blow into it, really cool cells though. If I blow into it, um, it will just have pillow paint. So at this point, cause I don't wanna li leave like it black, I'm gonna try to <clears throat> attach it somehow. 
Like pretend that it's something cool, you know? Is it something cool? I don't know. Like at least, so we're not looking at a big black line. Like, you know? So this shows my flaw of blowing. Well, actually it's my flaw of layering the color the way I did. Remember I went like this? So I pro that's probably one of the squiggles and the other squiggle. So I lose perfect points there. I'm just trying to make it look interesting. There's some really cool cells along here. Um, I'll continue this, right? I mean, you could really actually like what's happening there. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. Just a touch. Okay. Oh, it's kind of boring here. Oh God, when I start doing this, I could do this forever, right? I just don't, I just want it to look, is it too linear now? Okay, maybe I'll go the other way. I told you I have a problem. Because my eye goes to it, you know? I just want to break up the lines a little bit. Okay, let's see what we got. Cool. See, normally if I were to keep going, I would kind of fix that part. I'm going to do it. Sorry. Can't stop me because you're not here. So I'm going to continue. If you haven't had a chance, you guys, sign up for my Patreon class. It's super fun. Well, it's not super fun yet. You don't know. But I have a bunch of classes. A bunch, I'm calling the modules in the works to teach you everything from start to finish my whole and anything that's in my brain about the bloom is going to be on my patreon bloom module course the link to check it out is in the description all right how are we doing kind of cool right it's very like cruella de vil all right let's spin her and see i'm gonna lose some things that I like, like these are so cute, they're gone. Uh, but let's see what we can do, right? And now I'm gonna have that Cruella DeVille song in my head for sure. Oh, low battery. Cruella DeVille, Cruella DeVille. If she doesn't scare you, Ooh, cool, you know, but they still have got to go, unfortunately. Uh, you know what? I don't have to spin it that much more. I don't like this part here. What do you guys think of this shadow bloom? You know what? I want to try um, maybe on a bigger and do actual and leave negative space and try to get those rings around that I was looking for. Is this cool or weird? Let me get this bottom part off a little bit. You know? Um, really cool, I'll show you a close up in a minute, but really cool depth of shadow on um, a bunch of these. Uh, okay, we good? So my score is not perfect because of the middle here, not perfect. If it all looked like these edges, I would give it a perfect. But what do you guys think of my shadow bloom? I'm not sure. I might go charge my phone and do another one, um, a bigger one. Yeah, why don't I do that? Uh, okay, I'm going to do a close-up of this. I'll be right back. Guys, you want to know something really sad? I just did a 10 inch and I pressed record and then I looked up when I was all done and it didn't record and I kind of like it. So <clears throat> I was debating even showing you, but I just wanted you to see the difference between the first one, which was an eight inch and the 10 inch. And I'm sorry, you couldn't actually see the process, but it was the same process that I did for the eight inch. Um, isn't that kind of pretty? I mean, 
It doesn't have the, I wanted to get like the rings on the outside. It has a bit of it. Um, it does have obviously more negative space. It has really cool um, in-depth cells that look cool. I know it's like kind of disappointing because you didn't actually see what I did, but just, I blew it. I took my, my popsicle stick and I did it. And I know it's not like totally worth showing you. I just don't have time to do a whole other one. And I love you guys. So I hope that it's not too disappointing that you didn't see how I did this, but, um, it's something for you guys to try. Let me know what you think of the shadow blooms. I'm really, I think I'm going to play with them more and have some fun so uh like or well i was gonna say like or dislike but don't dislike if you don't like it just like move along you know what i mean <laughs> um comment let me know which one 10 inch with the negative space or the eight inch and let me know if you'll be trying this at home have a good day bye